Pej. And I'm Paul. Welcome to Techie Dads. What are we talking about today? Uh, it's just a lot of stuff going through the news. I thought we'd spend a few minutes just to talk about some of the stuff that's been happening that we found interesting. Yeah, this week and next week. Next week, big week. Yeah, so for me, I've been, um, well, we're in Canada. I wanted to use Apple Pay for a while. Um, the only real relationship Apple had with um, anyone was Amex. Um, so if you had an yep. Amex card, you could use it. I think that, that's been around for several months, actually. Uh, but this week, almost unilaterally across all the all banks the, at the same time, right? The big they banks. All, yeah, they all yeah. turned it on. Works for debit and, and credit cards. So now the question is, okay, where can you use it? Nobody advertises that sort of thing. You have to look for the tap to pay type terminals and then hope that they've turned that aspect of it on and people are going to look at you strange when you get your phone out and, and, and try to use it. So it's going to take some getting used to both. Uh, now what, now what you, and, uh, and vendors, right? Remind me what you got to do on the phone, right? You got to you got to put in your credit card info and wallet and it which will is, come up and say, do you want right. to use this for Apple Pay? Which and is then, super easy, right? So yeah. you go to the wallet app, which is one of the default apps on the, on yeah. the phone. I guess you could use it with iPad too, but mainly the phone, and then um, it'll scan the card for you so you don't even have yep. to type in the numbers, does a couple of authentication checks, it might email you or send you a code through your bank, and then you're good to go. Um, and I think the coolest thing is it's not just your credit cards, you can use it with your debit if you have that. And, and I think the, the, the value prop on this is um, convenience, right? right? You've got your phone with you more times than your keys in your wallet, right? right. So um, walk into you know a, a vendor, Yep. Merchant, whatever, slap your phone down, you've got to purchase. And I think it's just, you know, we've been talking about this for, I don't know, 10, 15 years about, you know, the electronic wallet. And right. here we are. I mean, I think, you know, if I look at what Apple is doing, I look at what Android is doing, like Google and some of the other vendors, I think Apple's probably made it the easiest to adopt, to your point. Camera, snap, away It's you also go. the most secure, right? Because the yeah. way they do it is the vendor will not know who you are. There's no personal information being exchanged. They use this temporary tokens type system and so on. So it's it's actually a very secure way of, you know, they're not scanning your card under the table or anything like that. So it protects you from being mm -hmm. ripped off from some... I can't wait to have this at the pump, right? Because that... Yes. Even though they say you shouldn't use your phone when you're pumping gas, I'm like... Now I'm going to use my phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. one thing I, I couldn't use it at. But, you know, Tim Hortons, McDonald's, a big vendor, definitely have it. Um, and then after that, you're going to have to experiment and maybe get embarrassed in mind when you try to use it. But it, it works with the fingerprint scanner. If you do have the Apple Watch, it'll work with that too. And basically, but, uh, it's similar to how like you, you know some of the um, uh, credit cards now, where you just tap it on the device. All you're doing is you're taking your phone, you're bringing up your wallet on the card, and then you're tapping it, and it's asking you to authenticate. Yeah. And if you got the touch iPhone or whatever. It's basically one motion. It, yeah. If you have multiple cards in there, you can set which one's the default. Yeah. Otherwise, you prompt it and you pick a different card. But And then you just tap and go. You just tap it and put your finger on and, and you're done. Yeah. No, it's... Uh, and then you get the receipt and confirmation right there. It'll, it'll buzz. Would you still carry a wallet? I think this this gives me the option not to. If I knew where I'm going and, you know... Other than ID, right? Cause if I have a choice in which I want to bring, I'm going to bring yeah. my phone and not my wallet. Yeah. And now at least I know I have some money. I mean, I don't have to bring change or whatever. Change? change. What is change? Oh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think, you know, if, if some way we can get our IDs on there as well, like, you know, your birth, where you're, you're born, and your I driver's think, license. If you can get your driver's license on your phone, I and think that's even, accepted. I think even loyalty cards. Like, they're a pain in the ass. Well, loyalty I'm with. I mean, that's already in the wallet right now, so but wherever not all you shop. Of support it. No, but you've got uh, Stow Card. I, I use Stow Card, where you list all of the, okay. all of the uh, ones, and it shows up a barcode, and they can scan the barcode, or it has the number. And you, the 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 you know the kid behind the the, the cashier right. can type in the number, which is a pain, but that's so the way you can. Use an app it. to catalog your wallet. I use an app. It's, uh, uh, the wallet just makes it that much easier because you tap and you can flip through your cards. Okay. But Stow Card is the app I use, and yep. it's great for loyalty cards, as you pointed out. Um, okay. But I think if we can get my, you can get your driver's license in there with Apple Pay equivalent. I mean. Really, do you really need to carry a wallet around? You've got your ID identification, who you are, and you got your cash. Just don't lose your friggin' phone, <laughs> right? And yeah. Or if your phone gets hacked, you're screwed. You can kill it remotely, too, if you've set it up right. Yeah, so. that's a good point. Apple Pay in Canada, finally. Yay! Yay.